In DaVinci Resolve 19 here, we've got some cool new ways to view our clips as we're trying to trim them. Let's jump in Resolve, you gotta check this one out. Now you may be familiar with this feature here because it's already in the Cut tab, but now in the Edit tab we can see it as well. So where I have two clips that come together, we've got a break here, a cut between the clips. If I hover over my clips, make sure you've got your arrow selected here, but if I hover over the two clips, you get this symbol right here, and if I double click it, we now get our expanded trim view up here in our viewer. And what this allows you to do is make precise adjustments when you want to edit in between these two clips. So if I were to click, hold, and drag this, I can see exactly what frames I'm adjusting to. Now, if I tried another clip right here where they overlap a little more, you can see it'll tell me the number of frames that I'm moving my intersection here or my cut point. So that can come in real handy when you want to be exact and you want to be able to see it a little bit bigger as far as how these clips are coming together here when you're making your cuts. Another cool way in DaVinci Resolve 19 that we can view slip changes on a clip. So for example, if we come into Resolve and we click on the trim edit mode, I'm going to hover over my clip and get that icon. That's the slip clip icon, right? So I'm going to click and hold and you can see where the boundaries or the limits of my clip are. And I can slide this back and forth. But you notice as I do, we now get a four panel view in our viewer. So we see the clip before it, as well as the clip after it on the bottom two windows here. And on the top, we can see where we're moving our current clip, right? So that's at the point of the playhead. So as I slide this way, you're going to see where we're at on the right side there. But you can make adjustments here just to help you fine tune it and see exactly where you are with your clips. Now, if you don't get this four panel view here, you do have to enable it. So if you come on up to your view menu, you want to come down to enable multi view edit preview, because if that's checked off and then we come on here, you're not going to see that four panel preview option. So again, come up to view and come down to enable multi view edit preview. As long as that's checked on, you'll see those four windows when you try to edit a clip and slip it just like this. A little quick tip for you there when it comes to trimming your clips and getting those locations where you want to make those cuts exactly where you want them. More cool tools just added here in DaVinci Resolve 19, and maybe that's something that you'll find handy. Did you know this one? Comment down below if you did. Just curious to see how many people know about some of these new updates that we're talking about here. But uh, that wraps up this one, guys. I'm off to make you more videos, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.